I've been restoring this pair of 1969 bespoke George Cleverly for quite some months. It's been a bit of a stop-start affair. Um, there's a huge amount involved, um, not least stripping the polish. Um, stripping 50 years of old polish um, from skin is, I can tell you, it's no joke. Um, it doesn't just sort of wipe off like more, more recent polishers. Um, this has been stripped, um, but uh, it would have probably taken five or six hours of stripping and stripping and stripping with um, methylated spirit and cotton wool. And there's probably still traces of um, probably still traces of the old polish, but um, I'm, not, I'm not too worried about that. Um, there have been two other issues with the pair. Um, both of them had suffered quite badly um, with the, the the original stitching all around the edges here and an awful lot of this sort of stitching um, around the top of the vamps. It had, it had just rotted and disappeared and the skins had started to crack. Um, it was exactly the same in this one. This shoe's at a more advanced stage. Um, I probably spent maybe 40 hours on this shoe alone over a period of many months. A um, huge amount of the stitching has been replaced by hand. And these elastics have been removed because they'd stretched, you know, they'd stretched, they were enormously baggy. They're all floppy around the top. And uh, so what I've done, I've unpicked the stitching. Um, a, a lot of the stitching here was rotten anyway, and the skin was split. I've actually repaired and patched the skin with chamois from behind. Once the, um, once the elastic was out, um, I'd opened, opened all the stitching. You can get to the back of the original skin, and uh, just the chamois, the type of chamois leather that you would use on, uh, to wipe a car, to, 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 yeah, when you're not polishing, when you're washing your car. Um, it's very fine, it's only about half a millimetre, but it's very, very strong in every direction. So that's got chamois glued behind. I'll do a separate video and show uh, chamois repairs. It's usually around the heel, the heel's split. And um, I'll, I'll do a separate video at some point um, showing you these repairs. But once the, 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 the leather's been pushed back together with chamois, you can then restitch through the original holes. So a lot of this has been restitched. If I bring it very close, you might just be able to see some of the scars from the splits. Um, anyway, that's not what this one's about. I, um, the original shoes, if I compare them together, um, I'm going to be um, shrinking this darker shoe with steam. It's a very brutal affair. Um, I think you might be quite shocked if you've not seen me do it before. This one has already been done. With wear and use over the years, bear in mind these are 50 years old, and they've been worn, and the skins have stretched quite dramatically. Um, particularly um, running down into this area here. If I, if I poke it, you can see there's about 15 or 20 millimetres of stretch and the, the skin moves and flops about. On this one, it's much, much firmer. Um, it doesn't roll about so much. I've actually resized this shoe. Um, I've steamed it with a wet towel and a, and a hot steam iron onto the original uh, this is the original George Cleverly uh, Bespoke Tree from 1969 and that's the perfect shape, the shoe was originally that shape. The, um, the, the skins had stretched a lot around here and they'd stretched enormously in this area. Now, it, as I say to you, when you see me do this in a couple of minutes, it is quite a shock. Um, there is a lot of uh, there's a lot of risk, you know, things can go wrong and they do go wrong. I'll do my best to talk, talk through that with you. but. Um, let, me, uh, let me put this shoe out of the way and uh, the first thing we need to do, and uh, I need to put a bit of water inside this shoe. I've already soaked it for about 10 minutes, so it is already wet. I'll cover myself over, I don't want to get wet. And I'm just going to, just got some water here, I'm going to fill the shoe with water. It's already wet, it's already been, um, it's already been soaked for about 10 minutes prior to making this uh, little film, just to give you a sense of how much water's involved. I'm going to just carefully stir it about. And I'm going to pour that back into the jug and uh, reinsert the tree. And I've got a wet towel already prepared here. It's, 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 it is really quite wet. If I, if I squeeze it, will some of the water drops out onto the towel. It's really sopping wet. So I'm going to start on this edge here. Um, I'm going to shrink the edges all the way around just to sort of tighten up into the vamp. And that will cause these areas that are not being shrunken immediately to go much worse. Ah, what I must point out also, these have got elastics, side elastics. Um, a lot of shoes don't have those. If you were doing this on a laced up shoe, you keep your laces very, very tight, really tight. These don't have the laces, they've got side elastics. 
And if I bring it right up close to the camera, you can see a rather crude stitching that goes through the holes in the skin and it's just round and round and round um, purely so that the tension will be on the, uh, on, the, on, the, on the cotton that I'm going to later cut out, not on the elastics. As it shrinks, this elastic won't, it won't have enough tension. It will just open up and we'll end up with like a V-shape. Um, so they will be, once I'm happy with the size, then I'll cut out those threads. But let's, um, let's start this process of shrinking. So I'm just going to put the towel very carefully over the shoe. And I've got just a cheap steam iron here. This is not the iron I use on my clothes. It was probably about £10 from a cheap sort of... Uh, uh, I can't remember where I bought it, but it doesn't matter. It was about £10. Very, very hot on its full setting. And I'm going to use the the edge of the iron just into the into the welting you probably hear it sizzling and hissing so this is I'm just pushing quite hard with the iron into the welt and putting pressure on the leather skin not on the welting itself on the on the skin which is a little bit cracked and wrinkled and pressing as hard as I can onto the tree inside so I work all the way around try to be careful of the toes you cannot I can't stress this enough you can't iron over the toe area you can sort of quickly lick over but you can't press on hard in the vamp you can really i'm pressing on ever so hard um really you can press on hard there you need to drag drag the iron back away from the toes so any you don't want to be pushing any 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 loose skin forward it'll wrinkle in the toes you can't really shrink toe cups they do have um they have various sort of stiffening um materials behind so let's just work around anyway and uh, tighten up into the vamps let's have a look put the iron down for a sec i'll turn the shoe over this is the area i need to lose a lot from it really is quite serious stretching but i can lose all of that 100 percent. it might take up to an hour this is only going to be perhaps a five minute video to give you a sense of what's involved but this will probably take me about an hour so i can't see but i can feel rather well so I want to push the iron into that corner there, into the edge of the vamp, the welting I beg your pardon, not the vamp. So I'm not really going over the welting, I'm just going into it. It's a towel soaking, soaking wet. So I go all the way around. Keep my fingers out of the way, I don't want to be burning my fingers. Okay, so there's nothing more to it than this. Um, it looks insane, I know it looks insane, but it does work. I've not discovered another method, and the towel's nearly dry, so I'm going to pop the iron down and get a much wetter part of the towel. There we go. It looks insane, I know it does. I Honestly, I've not, I've not discovered a, um, a more successful way. You can use a hair dryer. I've seen it done with, um, with a paint stripping gun, you know, the hot air, sort of black and decker hot air paint stripping guns. Um, they will shrink the skin. But what you don't have is the option of pushing. This iron is very hard, and it can you can press, you can force, you can with a with a with a hot air gun. You 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 spray in hot air. You've got no physical, nothing to physically press and put and push. The hot plate, it works very well. So it won't complete in this in this short video. I just want to give you a sense of what I'm doing here and. Uh, once again, I'm keeping away from the toe area. I don't want to touch the toes. Let's have a look. This will take probably an hour. I won't do it all on camera. So straight away, you can see, uh, you know, I, can, I can see you probably can't tell from camera, but there's quite a lot of shrinkage here. Probably lost six or seven millimetres at the bottom there. Not here. I haven't done that bit. Yet. That appears to be much worse. But this bit's better. That bit's the same as it was before, so it appears worse. So once I've got all the edges nice and tight, then I'll come in and, and do quite a lot around the vamp. You can't, um, let me get this wet towel out of the way, you can't do everything in one location. That needs a good 20 millimetres removing from there. I could remove the 20 millimetres, but it would go hard and lumpy. What I need to do is perhaps remove 10 millimetres from this area and take areas, take skin from areas that don't appear to need it. Um, like, like, like going towards the toes, it's quite firm. Now, if I shrink that area, which is already quite tight, the, sh the skin will shrink, but it will only shrink as far as the hard block inside it. So what it will do, it will drag some skin from over here. It will physically take, it will, it will drag it, not enormously, maybe a millimetre or so, and we can perhaps take a millimetre, 
you know, shrink here where it's very, very firm. And it will, you know, this area will drag some from down here, a little up there. And so you just take a little from everywhere. Areas that are nice and firm that don't appear to need it. You shrink those as well. And it, overall, it, it kind of, it spreads the risk, so to speak. Um, we over, we've got, what have we got, uh, 30, 60, um, I'm just trying to work out, 300, 600, 700, there's about 750 millimetres of circumference here. And I need to be losing from one area about 20 millimetres. So when you look at the ratio, I'm trying to lose 20 millimetres within a full area, surface area of about 750. The risk doesn't seem quite so high. Um, and that really is all, all I'm going to be doing. Um, let's just do a bit more on the vamps here, just to give you just a bit more of a sense of, of what's involved. So I'll spread it nice and tight so I can really see the shape of the shoe. I'm going to do this area. I'm not going to touch the toes. Oh, yes, so we just walk into the shop and we'll carry on. And uh, nice and hot, very, very hot. Putting quite a lot of pressure on, avoiding the toe caps. It's a lot easier to do these. Um, it's a lot easier to do these areas around the top. You can really see what you're doing when you're working into the uh, welting. You've, you're doing it purely by feel. Uh, where is it? There it is. Yeah, it's there. You can't really see it, but you can feel it. So. I'll repeat the process several times. It will take me about an hour in total. And uh, you do need to let it cool. You can look at the steam coming off that. <laughs> it looks totally insane. Um, but eventually we will will achieve, this one's already been done. And this, I'm happy with the, uh, to put the hot one down. I'm happy with the sizing, I'm happy with the shape. And um, what I'll do, I will resurface the skins because this this brutal process of steaming, it does upset the skin, but the skins look, you know, they're really rather cracked and crude anyway. Look at the cracking in this original one, which is still throwing steam off. We'll be able to remove that cracking afterwards. Um, if I bring this one quite close, see, there's not a lot of cracking. That one's had its first cut with 120 grit. I will then do another one with 180 grit and 320, probably finish it on 400. Um, this will come up quite new, the, pet, the whole pair, but... It's a huge job, about 70 hours in total. But I'll present another video quite shortly and uh, let you see the progress.